Hi, my name is Chilton Webb. I'm the developer of Conjure, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Conjure to create a mental map of your thoughts, and then I'm going to show you how to use clusters to create a different type of organization for those thoughts. So let's begin. One of the first things that we do here is we're, I'm going to create a very simple list of the things that I want to do. And this is pretty standard stuff in Conjure. Uh, you just point the cursor wherever you want to start typing and start typing. You don't have to do anything special to create a text box. Now keep in mind this is on the desktop. This is not, uh, I didn't have to go to a special program to type anything. I just moved the, the windows of other programs out of the way, went straight to the desktop, and started typing. Um, in this case, I'm using a fairly clear desktop. I removed everything uh, in this case uh, from the desktop. Actually, what I did was I created a new one. I used the blue grid backdrop for it and then just start, took off from there. So I'm making this list and basically these are things that I want to do for a new website. And I've decided I need images of the current website. I've got the current website art somewhere. I have uh, drawings from the client. I have some art from a new artist working on the project. I have feedback from the client, and I have feedback from his customers about this website. And I also decided that I would really like a new Mac. And uh, the biggest problem I have is uh, if I, before I go actually meet the client today, I need to figure out where I left my keys. So here is my simple map, and, and as you can see, what I do often is I type out everything that I want uh, ahead of time in one text box, and then I drag and drop it out. That way I can create separate objects from that. And again, it's just uh, triple click to select a whole line, and you just drag it right out into Conjure, and it creates a separate text box for it. And then it occurred to me I don't have the latest version of Conjure uh, on my system, so I'm going to put that right there, at least not on this system. Um, so here's the thing. It, with any list, the first thing you have to do is figure out how you're going to sort that list. And that ultimately will dictate how you go about addressing the things on your list, right? Now, on a traditional list uh, with bullet points, you would, you know, say, move them up or down. The problem is that some things don't really line up linearly. Maybe some things are equally important or, or some things you'll have to decide on later on. So that's where these, uh, this concept of a mind map comes in handy. And a mind map basically is a linked list of things. And you, uh, in Conjure, can very quickly and easily create these by holding down the command and option keys and just dragging from item to item. It will create a, a linked map of everything in there. And so I went, to the, went back to the beginning. I said, okay, well, here, what I really need to do is, uh, I guess, figuring out where I left my keys is the most important thing. Now, as you can see, if you move things, uh, that are selected in Conjure, they all move together, obviously. And one of the things about the Conjure desktop is it will not let you drag things off of the desktop uh, off screen. So if you drag something to a border or a boundary uh, into the desktop, it will always try to keep it on the screen. Now, in this case, I've also decided that some of these links aren't correct. Actually, this is going to be more of a tree-looking thing than a straight list. And so what I've done here is uh, basically command, option, click, and drag to create a link between items again and uh, selected other lines and deleted them. Uh, in Conjure, when you delete things, you get the neat little poof animation just like in the dock. And right here I've decided that um, basically some of these things here are in the right order. This is pretty much how I want this whole thing to look. And so here's what I'm going to do. Now here's my list. Now I'm going back through and I'm deleting these lines at this point basically because I've decided that there must be an easier way or maybe a different way of, of setting up these same things. So I'm going to use the cluster. And a cluster in Conjure is basically a, a way of organizing your things. It's kind of like a stack. It's kind of like a group, like a pile, if you will. The, the idea is a cluster in Conjure um, is a collection of things that are all related somehow. You've decided they're related. You, you click on them all. You hold the mouse down for a second, and it creates the cluster. As you drag a cluster around the screen, it will reorder it so that the most uh, most of the cluster objects stay on the screen. And it, depending on which um, type of display type you're using for the cluster, it will display them differently. Now, here's the thing: in this case, I'm using the rectangular display. Now, this in this case, uh, the cluster detects that I have nine items in it and says, "Okay, well, if you've got nine items, this is the most efficient layout for them." So. What I've decided is I'm going to use color to help me decide which things in here I need to tackle first. And basically I open the color picker, I've set it to an opaque color, 
Uh, Conjure supports full alpha colors, obviously. If you set it to something with a high alpha or low alpha level, it's going to be transparent. But I set it to opaque, which is 100% uh, uh, opacity. Um, and now I'm colorizing things, uh, colorizing these boxes. And I've decided I'm going to use red to indicate something I absolutely need to do right now. And I'm going to use yellow as something that is perhaps uh, secondary. And another thing I can do in Conjure is you can create a, a, a secondary clusters. In fact, you can create as many clusters as you want. And you can actually have things be members of multiple clusters. And where this becomes important is you could have uh, things that you finished and projects you're still working on. These obviously would be exclusive things. So in this case, I created a, I, I've got this one cluster that's things I finished. And I wanted to take things from the first cluster and put them in it. So and, and really what I want is, I don't want them to be in the first cluster. So what I've uh, done is command dragged things back to their original cluster and that removes them from it. And that way when, uh, when I activate or move the original cluster, it doesn't try to restack everything in there. Now in this case, I'm moving around the things I finished cluster because that's actually the one that um, I'm adding things to. So now I just finished downloading the latest version of Conjure. Uh, it was really awesome, and it really should have been a red uh, instead of a yellow. If I'd known how awesome it was, boy, I, I certainly wouldn't have uh, given anything re less than red. But now that I've actually uh, downloaded it, I can remove it safely from my list of things to do and put it in the things I have finished. You should too. Okay, so moving on, we now take two items on here that I decided I really aren't that important. I delete them, I touch the original conjure, uh, the original cluster, and when I do that, it reorganizes the, the, the uh, grid. Now, here are some things I finished. I'm adding them to this, and then I realized, uh, oh, wait, I, I didn't actually remove them from the things that list of things I need to do. So I'm going to drag them down to there, and now that adds them there. Again, if I touch and move the things I finished cluster, it will suck things into that. Now, collapsing and opening the other cluster puts those two back. I've decided there's one other thing that I don't need in there right now. Uh, let's see, now right here, one of the things about the clusters is you can, as you rearrange them, uh, some of the different uh, organizational displays are kind of neat. Horizontal and vertical are, are pretty neat in that they resize dynamically across the screen as you do it. Now here are two things. Now at this point, I finished everything apparently. I stuck it all in the things I finished uh, cluster, and I'm going to use the horizontal line to lay these out. Another thing you can do is resize uh, the cluster itself, and that will resize the aspect ratio of the objects in it. So now I can see everything in there, throw them out like a stack, and, uh, and I'm done. So here I'm going to go in here. I can see cluster contents. There's nothing left. Uh, so I'm basically done with my project, and I can delete this cluster.